Hello and thank you for tuning in to Truth TV News. I'm Vincent Rhodes, your host. And I'm uh, looking at the video that uh, we uh, just uh, examined the life of Buzz Aldrin and asked, did we go to the moon? And I had a couple of other things I wanted to say about that. Looking at the uh, video, watching my own videos, uh, sometimes I enjoy watching my own videos. And it gives me reason to pause and also to be in the reflect upon some of the things that have been said in my videos and I, it causes me actually to search for more information. But you know, uh, this was a video about Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin was the second man to walk on the moon, or so we thought. And in the recent unveiling of the facts about NASA moon landing, Buzz began to cast doubt upon whether he had been to the moon at all. In a YouTube video, which you know again that I did, I unpacked some information for you and I revealed that Buzz Buzz's excessive drinking could have been due to his guilt over lying to the world about the fake moon landing. And you know that uh, I did show you in the video that uh, he was acting strange and erratic uh, on many occasions. Uh, you know, if you can just kind of like go back through uh, YouTube, you can find many occasions about uh, Buzz being drunk on stage and ranting and just acting out unbecoming for an older man. Not to mention that Buzz does wear two watches, which indicates that he is part of the Masonic Brotherhood. And so Buzz, these uh, two watches indicate that he is well connected into uh, the secret world that continues to try to undermine our liberties and our freedoms. And uh, this uh, secret cabal that tries to put us to sleep with um, fake hoaxes everywhere around the world. And uh, we know that 9-11 was a hoax. We know that all of the um, shootings never occurred, some of them possibly were real, but then there were so many that were fake that uh, it's very difficult to know the difference. Then I did read you the scripture that the Antichrist uh, sends a spirit of deception, and that's part of what the Antichrist world is all about. And so I think most of us in America are mature enough to know that we've been lied to for a number of years. So I grew up believing in the Wizard of Oz as well. And now as an adult. I no longer believe in the great wizard. I do believe in God. And I believe that God's word is more true today than it ever has been in my life. And one of the reasons is, is because it's just like he said, that the world would be filled with deception, that the evil one would come and try to enslave people. And then eventually he will brand each one of us with a mark of the beast 666. If you haven't seen the 666 on the Disney logo, if you haven't paid attention to the 666, in the tilt of the earth on its axis, someone argued with me it's 23.4 degrees tilted. And I told them, I said, all you have to do is subtract 23.4 degrees, 90, and you get 666. Well, anyway, there's so much that we could possibly focus on. But anyway, I want to get back to Buzz. Buzz confirmed that the Apollo 11 moon missions were fake and that the video of the missions were simply um, showing a setup that was created to simulate how the moon and space would look. Apollo 11 was not real. None of it was. Buzz Aldrin said in a video he recorded confessing to the Apollo 11 hoax. And he said this, I'm ashamed to say that this, but I cannot hide it anymore. It was a setup like the ones used in Hollywood films. Back in 1960, the U.S. was competing with the Soviet Union to achieve space flight supremacy, which was known as the space race. We were afraid that the Soviets would beat us to the moon, so we decided to fake the moon landing of Apollo 11 to say we were greater than the Soviets, concluded Buzz. This tweet accompanied Buzz's confession, but has since been removed, and I imagine it's been removed by a government agency. I'm just going to show it to you. You can say what you want to say, but uh, it is a legitimate tweet from the real buzz. He says, it's time I confess the Apollo 11 missions, which landed man for the first time on the moon, was staged. None of it was real. Well, we already know that. We already know that because this is why Buzz um, punched Bart Silbury in the face when uh, Bart uh, told him that, uh, or well, Bart actually tried to get Buzz in 2002 to um, swear on the Bible that he had been to the moon. Well, of course, um, Buzz wouldn't do that, and so Aldrin refused to do it and responded by hitting Silbury in the face. And um, it might also be why NASA claims that they accidentally recorded over the only high-quality recordings of the original moon landing tapes. 
in 2006. They say they no longer have the technology to go to the moon. How can an organization as big as NASA be that careless enough to accidentally record over perhaps the most important achievement to date? Well, I already know because it was fake. But again, my trolls don't know that. And what my trolls would probably say is that, no, this is real. You know, the word of God says this. Um, it lets us know that the carnal man cannot receive spiritual truth. And I believe that's why many of these people who uh, attack me, attack other YouTubers who are trying to get the truth out there, that's why they attack us because they can't receive spiritual truth because we're dealing with a demonic deception of the likes we have never seen before. We're dealing with some very, very dark spirits, evil spirits that are trying to manipulate the mind of humanity and take all of the God out of us by forcing down our throat some fake space missions, forcing down our throat, belief in evolution, forcing down our throat, belief in all of the other worldly thoughts that they have, whatever they want to make up. I know, again, when I talk about this, again, I get demonetized because, again, you know, YouTube is working for the same group of people that I'm talking about. Anyway, so Buzz admitted to the fake moon landing and then they uh, removed his tweet. You let me know what you think about this. Remember to like, subscribe, or don't. But remember until next time that Jesus is the light of the world and the truth shall set you free. Mm -hmm.